Hello Internet World, welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing this NAS device. This is the QNAP TS253D. Now NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. Uh, it's a collection of hard drives that goes into an enclosure like this and instead of connecting directly to your computer you connect it via Ethernet to your network and then the files uh, and all of the services that are supplied by something like this are available on various devices, laptops, desktops, big screen TVs, smartphones, for example. Now this particular NAS was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer for this video. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular or to pre-approve the content. I'm going to share with you my honest opinion. So we're going to take a closer look at this very shortly, but just to give you a brief look around the box, this will accept either two two and a half inch hard drives or solid state drives, or two three and a half inch uh, SATA hard drives. And you pop them in the box. There's a little latch on the side which pops the front cover off. Slot the drives in. You run through a setup procedure. Very very easy to set up, and then you're good to go. So let's dive straight into this and take a closer look. So what we've got here is a really nice box of tricks. We've got the model number on the top, of course, and some of the specifications listed on here as well. Uh, inside here, it's worth noting that there's a, a Qualcomm, uh, sorry, not a Qualcomm, a quad core, correction, a quad core processor. It's a J4125, uh, up to 2.7 gigahertz processor in here. It runs at two gigahertz with burst speeds up to 2.7. Also, this model's got four gigabytes of RAM, but you can extend that up to eight gigabytes of RAM. As I mentioned before, there's a, a catch on the side which unlocks this front panel. Once the front panel's off, you can install your two and a half inch or three and a half inch drives. Also inside here, worth noting, there is a PCIe Gen 2 slot inside. This supports like that, if you put an additional card, which is optional, you can put that card inside and it will uh, support dual port M.2 SSDs, so you can add M.2 SSDs onto the card, uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet connectivity, uh, a wireless adapter, or even a USB 3.2 Gen 2 card. Uh, so it goes in the top here, and you would, if you added in, for example, that USB 3.2 Gen 2 card, then the ports would appear up here. Uh, while we're around the back, let's take a look at the rest of the ports. Now we've got HDMI, so we can get some sort of a visual output from this as well uh, for the user interface for controlling the device. You don't need to use this, you can just access it via a computer that's connected to, to, the, to the NAS. Uh, we've also got USB 3, some USB 2s, two Ethernet ports, but these aren't just standard gigabit Ethernet ports, these are two and a half gigabit Ethernet ports. And what we've seen recently is uh, people or manufacturers introducing Wi-Fi 6 and a lot of users starting to integrate Wi-Fi 6 into their networks and that puts a data strain on connected devices so having two and a half gigabit Ethernet ports on here allows that data to move more freely through either wired or wireless access to that data so really important that these are two and a half gigabit Ethernet ports We've also got a Kensington lock, DC input for the power, and then we've got this little fan which keeps everything nice and cool inside. So a nice back panel, plenty of ports. Just remember the important factor here is two and a half gigabit Ethernet ports. Uh, that allows for some really uh, fast data transfer rates. We've got some more ventilation on the side here, and then on the front panel, we've got this uh, glossy piece on the front not a fan of the gloss you know me and my gloss on uh, technology it attracts dust and fingerprints but alas it is gloss this isn't as you can see when you slide that catch down on the side there is some little indentations here just to aid with you sliding this front cover off also on the front there's a power button uh, there's also some LED lights as well which give you various status feedback there's also another USB 3 port and then there is also like a copy function what this is used for is if you were to put maybe a USB flash drive in here with some photos on or other files you push this button and it copies it 
to the drives inside. Now why would you need two drives? Well, if you're using these in like a mirrored RAID format, what it means is you've got some data redundancy. So all of the files that you copy to drive number one would be replicated onto drive number two. And then if either of the drives fail, then you've still got your data. So you don't lose any data. That's one of the main benefits of mirroring data from one drive in, in a RAID format. Uh, really nice compact design on this and lots of use case scenarios. Now, I've talked to you about NAS drives a lot on the channel. In its simplest format, this is like a central file storage location connected via Ethernet to your network and then you can gain access to your files uh, either from your laptop, your desktop computer like I've got here, uh, a smart device, could be a tablet or a smartphone, or you can even use this as like a media server and serve up movie files for example to a large screen television or maybe you've got music files on here and you can serve those up to a an audio or network attached audio listening device. So plenty of different options but you can also install applications on here uh, things like a file server, media server, uh, iTunes server, Plex server, so many different um, applications you can install on here which further extend the use case scenario. Uh, your data very very secure, very safe the fact that you've got things like snapshot protection you've also got sort of a remote backup features on here as well and being able to access your files even if you're not in the same building make this a very very useful device now when I've been using this locally the two and a half gigabit Ethernet ports really have made a difference to file transfer speeds so that's a really big step up um, I've yet to really uh, sort of embrace Wi-Fi 6. I've tested some Wi-Fi 6 products but I've yet to embrace it and really install it in Geek and Noise HQ to use on a daily basis but certainly Wi-Fi 6 in combination with a faster NAS device would be a really good combination so I can certainly recommend this particular NAS from QNAP. The user interface is superb, the hardware is superb and it to me has been very very reliable. So that is it for my review. Thank you very much for watching. I can see plenty of you tuning in live, including Andrew Williams. Good morning to you. Also, Anurag saying, morning, mate. Super useful product for some. For some, Stream your own content, movies like Netflix documents, etc. At home for the whole family. Definitely. Very, very flexible device. Very useful. Great comment. Thanks for adding that. Now, if you want to buy one of these for yourself, there are links down in the video description. Please do check out those links. There's also a link down there to the QNAP website, so please do check that out as well. If you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.